have a big problem. Like, I did not realize how big of a stack I have of just manga that I've collected in uh, April. This isn't all of it, by the way. <laughs> this is just by one mangaka. This is only just Evangelion. This isn't even all of them. <laughs> and there's more on the way, but hello my name is Laura I buy too much manga and uh, let's get started with the April manga haul so it's been a lot of small trips here and there a lot of um, used manga in this video so yay to that and yes uh, your girl got hooked on a few mangaka so hence why the stack is so big but <laughs> Where do I even start? Okay, let's start with Evangelion. Um, I finally watched the anime last month. I became hooked. I just, I, I just like really depressing anime. Okay, <laughs> so I'm missing one of the volumes in this collection. Um, so with this, you get three volumes in one book. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine is missing. So. Yeah, now I can read it and get depressed as well. I really, I love Evangelion. It's definitely not um, a series for everyone, but if you like Madoka Magica, you're going to love Evangelion. That's all, I'll, that's all I'm going to say. It's really good. I became just like hooked. I'm really finding the urge to like rewatch it. Like I need to branch out and watch new stuff before I go and start rewatching like older um, well, not older, just rewatching anime that I that I have seen, but I'm really fighting the urge <laughs> to watch it again. I loved it that much. Um, should I go in? Yeah, let's go in with um, Maki and Joji. I don't know if I said her <laughs> last name right, but Homegirl knows how to write Jose manga. And if you don't know the term Jose, it's basically romance manga geared towards adults so it's adult relationships adult problems i it's it's got me written all over it so i read an incurable case of love that was my first series by her that i read um volumes one through seven so all of it seven is the last uh the last volume that she released not too long ago here in english and uh yeah it is so good. It is so good. I was reading like two volumes a night. I cannot put this down to save my life. And Dr. Tendo, if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I freaking love Dr. Tendo so much. He's now my number one manga bay. Yeah, he, he is amazing. <laughs> but the story is so cute. It's a rom-com written to like perfection, I think. Um, you have the female lead who's adorable. Nanase is adorable. I love her nickname, the Valiant One. Like, I need to grow a pair of balls like she did. Like, by the end of the series, I was just like, you did it. I felt so proud of her. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, it, it's amazing. I highly recommend An Incurable Case of Love. You'll hear more about it in my April manga roundup because, yes, I cannot shut up about this series. It's amazing. And then I jumped over to SP Baby. This is another series by her. This I enjoyed, it was fun, but there's only two volumes. So volume two just felt a little bit too rushed. Um, and <laughs> if you start reading this, you'll start noticing that she has a very distinct um, art style. So the men are almost drawn the same. And at first I was like, Dr. Tendo, what? wait, wait. But he's like a smiley Dr. Tendo. It threw me off just a little bit, but I did find it enjoyable. But yeah, definitely could have been, she could have done a third volume because this one was a little too rushed for my liking, but I still liked it. I still liked it. I didn't love it as much as I did An Incurable Case of Love, but I still liked it. And then we have Happy Marriage, which I'm still waiting on volumes one through five. So that's going to be arriving within the next week. So just imagine more, <laughs> more of Happy Marriage. But I have volumes 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 
um, 10 being the last volume. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be binge reading this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard so many great things about happy marriage. Um, some of the issues are wrapped in plastic and if you know, you know <laughs> when it's wrapped in plastic, they do not, yeah, it means that there's some spicy scenes in there. So I'm looking forward to that. Yes, I, I love her style though. It's just really clever, funny, witty, and romance scenes are just, they're nice as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a good Jose manga, look no further. I'm so excited to finally read this. And then let's jump to the big pile. So I finally started incorporating some BL into my collection. Yeah, so we got three. <laughs> we got Caramel. This I bought yesterday at Book Off. Um, I haven't heard too many things about this, but I was flipping through the manga, I liked the the artwork, um, then I looked up reviews and you know, I decided for $5, let's give it a try. <laughs> then I also picked up these two newer series. I have this wonderful season with you and our dining, our dining table. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading these. And finally, you know, having some BL in my collection because I do have a lot of, um, well not a lot, but I have a, several um, Yuri or GL girl love uh, manga, but now, now we're introducing the boys in the mix because otherwise my collection is very straight. <laughs> so we have that. Then we also, I found this at Book Off yesterday, Spy X Family, I know, so many people rave about this series. Um, I believe it's also getting an anime very soon. So I saw it on, saw it at Book Off, decided to pick it up. Um, I had, did have to get this at Barnes & Noble, but I got volumes two and four at Book Off. Very, very much looking forward to reading this. I've heard nothing but great things about it. So hopefully it lives up to the hype. I also found Komi Can Communicate at Book Off. It was so weird. They even had volume 12, which is the latest issue. It just came out like not too long ago. But yeah, Book Off was strangely too good yesterday. <laughs> but I did pick up volume seven and eight of Komi Can Communicate. Very excited. I love Komi. And another series I picked up yesterday that's also getting an anime adaptation is My Dress Up Darling. Yes, this is wrapped in plastic once again. So I got, um, I got some weird stares from the lady that rung me up at Barnes & Noble, but <laughs> it's okay. So I got volumes one, two, and three of My Dress Up Darling. I've heard great things about this as well. I haven't heard as much about this series, but the people that I know that have read it really like it. So I'm looking forward to reading it. It looks cute. Um, yeah, it just it looks cute. It's about a cosplayer making, you know, <laughs> making outfits for a girl. So yeah, sounds like an interesting premise. I'm putting everything on my <laughs> on my bed. Then, since you know I have Fruits Basket fever right now, um, I only have volume one of the collector's edition and um, I haven't collected the rest. Honestly, I got a little overwhelmed by how big they are and how <laughs> pricey they are these are i mean they're not that bad but they're like 20 a pop a, a little less with the barnes and noble membership but i'm taking it slow <laughs> i'm taking it slow so i picked up volume two and three yeah and three <laughs> with a very flirty shikure on the cover <laughs> so yeah I'm going to build up that Fruits Basket collection, slowly but surely. I'm going to collect them all. Love it. <laughs> I also picked up um, Love of Kill. This is a newer series. Volume 2 is coming out, I believe, next month or June. It's supposed to be like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith type of situation. But yeah, haven't read it yet. But I'm looking forward to it. Then you know that I love Madoka Mahika. Homura Akemi is my favorite character from that universe. So I finally found these. It took me forever to find them at a decent price. So we have um, Homura's Revenge, volumes two, which I bought through a Libris. And volume one, this one was so hard to find everywhere. It was like 60 plus. Some websites, 80, 120, 
and yeah, it's out of print. I finally found it for $14 on Amazon. Somebody was reselling a library edition that has all the stickers, which I need to remove eventually. And um, yeah, I just jumped the gun, purchased it. So now I have volumes one and two. So excited. <laughs> and I'm so excited to actually like, read this as well. So yes, my patience, my patience. Uh, definitely paid off. I didn't have to overspend on that series. Um, then, we're almost done. <laughs> that makes me feel slightly better. Also on the Libris, I picked up this guy right here. This is, um, this is one of the earlier Sailor Moon manga in English. This is by Tokyo Pop, so that's why it is printed, um, you know, normally instead of the traditional way that you would read manga. Uh, so this is a 2000s edition, and um, yeah, I basically picked it up because of the cover. You guys know that I love Sailor Saturn and the Outer Senshi, and I just love... This is one of my favorite um, illustrations that Naoko did. So yeah, I had to pick it up, found it for like two bucks, so might as well. I'm not gonna collect them all, okay? I got my... I have to like... <laughs> I have to chill because... Obviously, I don't have that much space, but maybe once I get my own space, then maybe I'll collect a few more of these or the Eternal Editions because they're launching the smaller versions. Yeah, those are beautiful. They're really nice. It, I mean, inside of the manga, it's the same thing. It's going to be the exact same thing, but a newer translation. <laughs> but the, the cover art of the Eternal the eternal collection it's so beautiful i love it and the last manga that i have in this haul are all clamp titles mainly subasa <laughs> if you follow me on tiktok yeah i've been collecting subasa so i have volumes um one through ten i got through a lot on ebay that i found at a decent price and then volumes 12 13 and 15 i got at book off yesterday so yeah I'm building that Tsubasa collection. And then I also picked up the one I love, um, which is this one. This one's an out of print clamp um, romance manga. And uh, it's almost like short stories. I just love clamp's artwork so much. So yeah, I found it for like $2 or three. <laughs> so I had to pick it up. Next up in my clamp collection, gotta find Chobits. I know they sell the collector's edition at Barnes & Noble, the hardcover, which, I mean, they're so beautiful, but they're much bigger. I'd rather just get the older Tokyo Pop volumes. So I'm still waiting on a decently priced lot so I can have Chobits. I love Chobits as well, so yes. <laughs> So that's it for my April manga haul. Let me know what you guys bought in the comments below. Um, next month, um, so month of May, I'm going to be challenging myself. Uh, I want to read one volume a day. That's my goal. So I can make a very big dent in my collection. So yes, I want to read a volume a day. If you want to participate, let me know. Maybe I can make a graphic so you, we can all like cheer, cheer each other on and read more manga. But yeah, let's do it. May manga challenge. Oh my god, it's perfect. <laughs> May manga challenge. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to get going now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.